مصطفى what we want to make is uh, a logout and also delete the users automatically so first thing is um, let's make a logout button to show you how does it work so button login and here another button okay another button call it log out log out on click create a new event well um, okay so another update panel in this update panel content tablets or we don't even need this I want the tablet okay uh, but uh, let's say a trigger and control ID is button log out and an event name equal click so on a click session nickname equal null save all revolt okay script manager as you can see it says it uh, requires a script manager on the page we have a script manager but it's not at the top so copy the script manager make it before the first update panel save and rebuild now refresh the page okay we still have those online users uh, login uh, okay john login load out let's load out so we say a new message which I still didn't appear the message error message we'll check for that later okay so let's add join again and set new message we have join okay so now let's delete the users to delete the users So as you can see, we have a time here. Let's delete the users every five minutes, the online users. So let's make a new function, public void. Uh, public void delete old users from the common text equal delete from chat where time is less than time from dot parameters that add with value <clears throat> a time from will take a time okay so we have those times chat edit okay for example we want to delete a time that is uh, less than this time okay so
delete from chat where time is less than this time it situates two rows affected those rows so it situates okay now we want to make uh, to delete sorry everything is less than five minutes so less than 30 okay so the time is date time dot utc now dot hour plus this sample plus date time dot hour dot uh, minutes okay dot minutes dot uh, utc on okay dot minutes minus five plus this symbol plus date time dot utc now dot seconds okay we have an error message here convert to string save rebuild no error message okay now com dot connection equal con and con dot connection or con dot open and con dot close now com dot execute non query okay we want to apply this every one minute so let's make another update panel in the bottom or any where you want it so an update panel and a timer for now to check the uh, the function make it every one second an update panel and the content template empty now I trigger control ID equal timer 3 and event name equal tick now let's make an update mode to conditional update mode conditional prevents affecting the timer on other update panels so let's add uh, on tick create a new event go back here and delete old users okay save and rebuild okay let's delete every messages uh, before five minutes okay save rebuild let's check our database Execute. we have two rows okay so um, login join
hello send here is send hello okay now let's check for okay every five minutes delete all tail is the time okay we have problem here the time minutes the time minutes okay minus five okay the time seconds Let's say com dot parameters dot clear okay it doesn't work okay it works now John uh, so now it should only contain John. Okay. John that are for 45 minutes. Okay. So we learned a lot from this tutorial and especially about update panels, how Ajax work in ASP.NET. Very simple, very easy. But still there is something we should make is when we add a new message say mr login add a new message hey send okay another hey as you can see it doesn't scroll down so go to chat box asp ads and add this script to let jQuery work. Now add a script type equal JavaScript. Now uh, we will make a function in JavaScript that works every three seconds. The function is uh, window window dot set interval okay so it has a function call it uh, scroll down for example scroll down okay <clears throat> and close this function okay in this function we'll say dollar document that's ready okay let's make a function dollar the id of uh, our division all message division dot animate dot animate yes okay uh, okay scroll top dollar to the same division ok 
division, scroll division, and now zero. Let the scroll. Scroll height. Okay. I guess that's our chain of rebuild. Okay. <clears throat> rebuild or clean the solution and then rebuild. Um, it didn't work. There is something wrong in my code. Okay, we didn't set the interval. So clear the solution and rebuild. Login. Okay, should you work now? It still didn't work. Why? <sighs> okay, let me stop the video for a while. Okay, so the problem is from capital W to small window okay save it and uh, let's refresh and clean the solution then rebuild now as you can see okay as you can every three every three every one second almost okay that's cool Okay. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Please subscribe for more tutorials if you like this one.